So now let's make changes on our backend side as well because we need to accept few more parameters on a backend. So before I will start writing the code, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe the channel, like the video and share the video to your friend. It will highly motivate me to make more videos. Let's go on a backend side of code and let's take an additional parameter called password, name, email, mobile number, gender and hint name, those things. So this is the code of backend if you remember. Okay. So this is the part where we need to do the registering. I mean this this is the code where we, we are doing the registering. Okay. Now to make any changes, we have to make changes on the model of the user which we wanted to store in a database okay so if you remember earlier we were using i mean we are only storing the mobile number now it's time to store the password so for that i'm going to create a new field on our database so this is a new field right i told you the what is the field field is the column what is the document document is a row and what is the collection collection is the table of no sql database so this is a term like no sql and sql database so this is a fill which is a new column we have added in our database so this is a password the type will going to be password which will going to be a string then will it be required yeah of course password is required that's why we added the validation in a front end as well will it be unique no it will not be a unique okay then the third thing is the full name so let's full name so full name will going to be a string and the next thing will it will the full name is required in a front end we haven't said that the full name will going to be a required parameter that's why in a backend as well we are not putting the full name as a required parameter now let's go for the third thing i mean fourth thing which is a email so email also is not required but it will be a type of string then let's go for the next that is a gender gender will it be a required no it is also not a required okay we haven't added any kind of validation on a gender so i haven't adding the required keyword over here okay what is the next thing the next thing is the mobile number that is alternate mobile number alter net mobile number okay so this is alternate mobile number it is also not required that's why i haven't added a required full name i mean the last thing is the hint which is also not a required so all the thing will going to be optional except for the mobile number and the password okay now we have made changes on the schema okay what about how we will accept those values okay so if you go on a login route, what we did that once we will click on this button so it will going to make a api call okay it will going to make an api call if we will find any data from the database then it will going to return a token if we will not find uh, anything in a database then it will going to return a register message okay and after that the login rest api endpoint work is completed then we don't have a work of the login rest api endpoint okay so what we will do now how we will handle the registering a new user to registering a new user thing we have to handle by creating a new api endpoint okay so we will going to create a new api endpoint that will be again a, a post okay so let me create a new endpoint using the router.route router.route the api name will going to be register 
okay again it will take a callback method and the method will take two parameter request and response in request we will get all kind of data which we are sending from the front end okay and in response we have to return any kind of response which we wanted to send to the front end okay so what will be the logic for it so the logic will going to be the simple it will be the logic we already created okay so the logic we already created i'm going to put it over here what we are going to do we are going to create a new user and in the new user we will going to store all the value which we are getting from the front end so we are getting the mobile number similarly we will going to get a uh, this many parameters so let's use the password okay so so uh, just copy this thing okay so it will be a password i don't want it to do any kind of mistake in a typo so the next thing will going to be a full name so let's go over here let's assign the full name from the front end we are getting the next thing will going to be the email let's also assign the email next thing will going to be the gender let's assign the gender the next thing will going to be alternate mobile number so let's assign the alternate mobile number as well the last thing we will get is the hint so let's assign the hint so that's it this is the register endpoint so how we will call this register endpoint we will use the login slash register okay because in index.js anything after this slash login we are dotting back to this file so that's why we have to use this thing this endpoint okay and now what will be the structure of our model in a front end side that part i will come later but let me explain you the code again we are creating a new user okay new user okay and uh, we are initializing all the field as we did in one of the videos for uh, creating a register and a login endpoint okay and uh, after creating a new user we are using the user dot save okay and uh, we are using that then after saving if everything work fine then we are using the then and we are sending a token okay we are sending a token and if we will get any error at the time of inserting a data in a collection then we are sending a error message that's it not much thing we are doing over here now what we have to do is we just have to call this register endpoint in our front end side and uh, we have to use it properly okay so the changes has been made in our back end side let's go on a front end side i will going to first create a model class for it so the model class we will going to create inside the register module only so let me create a register model dot dart file and uh, to create a model class we use a quick type and we will going to use that thing only okay uh, but i'm just thinking everything is good create account okay now we have to just do the validation if everything goes fine then okay yeah so we have made a changes on our back end okay and uh, let's work on a front end in a next video